April 25th, uh, 2022. It's a Monday. It's about 7 o'clock now. Um, I'm about to pull up into Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm going to my first ever WWE Brawl live event. Wow. I grew up watching wrestling, WWE. Um, I'm a SmackDown brand because growing up, we're poor. We didn't have cable, so we had to watch SmackDown. Um, but honestly, I haven't really watched WWE consistently since probably 2010, 2012, around that area. Uh, I just didn't really care for like the the products anymore. Um, like most of the guys I grew up watching, pretty much like retired or just got got pushed out, you know. Um, I think there's about like t five guys or ten guys right now that uh, are wrestling that I grew up watching. Rey Mysterio came back, his son Dominic, The Miss, Randy Orton. Um, those are a few guys I can think on top of my head right now. Um, R Truth, that's cool. That guy is cool too. Uh, surprisingly, Knoxville is actually a pretty big WWE town. Um, the current women's champion, uh, Bianca Belair, she was born and raised here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I just found that out yesterday. That's cool. Um, Randy Orton, he was born here in Knoxville. Uh, he grew up in like St. Louis or whatever, but he was born in Knoxville. That was cool. Our, uh, the current mayor here, Glenn Jacob, uh, he used to be a wrestler. He goes by the name of Kane. If you guys ever heard of that guy. So pretty cool. Uh, we're about to turn into the parking lot right now. So I'll see you guys in there. Peace. Just got here. We're across from the Neyland Stadium where the UT plays. Got my WWE belt. Pretty cool. So we should be in there. So it's pretty cool. This thing's kind of heavy, so it's, it might be a pain ass to carry this around, but we'll see what happens. Let's see you guys in there. Concession line.
list a lot of terms. But I hope you guys aren't getting sick of you.
line for the WWE shop. Becky, got Randy, Jackson, Kane, half the Knoxville wrestlers on this freaking car.